I got an email this morning from Bob in Wisconsin and he was asking me how on my uh, adjustable height uh, lathe stand how the, uh, the removable top stays attached to the, uh, the base or how it stays uh, in line with it and from the back of the cabinet I think it's a little easier to see this torsion box being all glued up in one piece has these three quarter inch sides attached to it that run from here right down to there. They're attached in two places with pocket screws. Uh, so they're very, very stiff. They don't have a lot of play back and forth. Uh, you can see that's a little bit splayed out at the bottom, but just very little there. Um, and that's, this shape captures the base and uh, doesn't really allow it to go very far. Now on my stand, when it's in the upright position, the upper position like it is now, it actually sits, the weight of the lathe sits on these little blocks. And these are hinged and they can flip up and let it come down. But when it's at the bottom, again the weight sits on those blocks, not on the gears or on the sides. The only time the sides come into play is when you're actually lifting or lowering the mechanism. Now here's a shot from the end of the cabinet. And it's a little hard to see with the gears, the racks in the way here, but there is a rectangular piece of three-quarter inch plywood that's attached to the base of the cabinet. And it rides in an equal width slot that's in this outside piece, and it just basically, that keeps it from racking this way. It keeps it aligned so that the gears engage correctly. Uh, got a couple of loose screws there I need to tighten. But that's the only thing really that holds it on there. It's, it's not... Uh, captured in any way other than the stiffness of the three-quarter sides coming down around the cabinet itself. Uh, another thing I thought I'd mention about the stand is in its bottom position where it's laying flat on my spacer blocks here uh, my center is about 38 inches off the floor which is way too low for me but for a, for a small uh, child that might be really good. Uh, when I raise it up it goes to 43 and if I can find the handle here, crank it up. And there's the, the full 43. That's at the center line of the uh, spindle. So I've only got about five inches of travel there, but it's significant from almost bending over to your knees to, to get to it to a nice comfortable height for someone who's 6'1". You notice know, I, I never did put a back on the, the base of the cabinet. Uh, with this torsion box design, it's super rigid without a back on it. Um, I will add one now. You notice I've added some drawer boxes in here, so to keep the dust out, I will go ahead and put a back on there, but you really don't need one for stiffness. Initially, when I was dreaming up this design, I was not sure if these sides would stay tight to the to the base and uh, I actually went out and I bought some T-Track that is uh, that captures inside of itself I don't know how well you can see this here and I considered somehow integrating that into the design where possibly one piece would be inlaid into the base and the other piece would be inlaid into the into this uh, movable part so that they couldn't come apart from each other and also to help align it when it went up and down really wasn't necessary uh, obviously since I didn't use it uh, there may be a better way to, to capture the two pieces so that they can't spread apart from each other um, but Bob for your application I think if you set it up like this and I, I realize you want to have more than one or two heights uh, you could eliminate this part here and just use some different length blocks raise it, put your two or three blocks in there to hold it at whatever height you want and make different height uh, blocks for different adjustments uh, and it pretty much just sits on that and the weight of the machine, this particular lathe with the bed extension and, and the, with the torsion box top I think it's about 125 pounds so it doesn't really go anywhere uh, I've got good double locking casters on the bottom, 4 inch urethane tire uh, casters, I think I got those from Grizzly, I can't remember for sure um, they're a little bit pricey, but uh, they work really well. I have them on my other uh, router stand. I liked them a lot. 
So hopefully that answers some of your questions about how this works, and if not, um, I'll make another video. <laughs> we'll take it apart if we have to.